Now, if you want to know what these notes are that I'm playing with these power chords, again, we can employ our musical alphabet that we've already learned. Remember, the B and the C are together, and the E and the F are together. So if this is E, we know that, and that's F, that's G, and that's A, right? Because you're repeating the alphabet. So if we go back to 25 or 64, we're playing an A. We're moving down two. So remember, G and A have a hole between them, so that's a G. F and G have a hole between them. So that hole we're actually playing this time is known as an F sharp. And if you ever take a look at music and you see on um, the pound sign, the little number sign, that's exactly what that means. It means you're raising up a particular note one fret. So if it's an F sharp, you start with the F and you go up one and you get an F sharp. So again, 25 or 64 would be A, G, F sharp, F, E. One more time. A, G, F sharp, F, E. Now, there is a little trick that I've um, taught a lot of my students over the years in order to get them more familiar with the notes around the, uh, the guitar. And uh, it involves a little uh, a phrase. So I'm actually going to have to involve this string here and this string here. So the sixth and the fifth we're going to take a look at. So it's important that we take a quick look at the notes on the A string. So again, if this is A, and you remember, funny enough, this is A, remember that? E, F, space, G, space, A. Isn't that how we tune? Right. So, here's your A. There is a hole between A and B. Right? And there isn't a hole between B and C. They're together, so A, B, C. D, E. So E, F, G, A, moving on to the next string, B, C, D, E. Okay, now let's take a look at some of these notes. We're just going to start with some of the more common ones. This here is a G, okay? Remember, 3 is G. That's a real easy way to remember this. So there's your G right there, okay, on, on the lower string. And we did talk about this A, B, and C. So if that's a C, and that's a G, then we can play a power chord on the G and we can play a power chord on the C. And we can do full ones if you want. Add the baby finger underneath if you can do it. And the C. Okay, so here's your G, here's your C. Now, we're gonna go back to the G again and move up two. We've got that space between the G and the A, so this is A. And this is two up from where the C was. And the C and the D have a space, so this has to be D. So you end up with A here and D here. So now we have G, C, A, and D. So now we can remember this by saying, you played the third, here's the third, right? You played the third guitar, G, guitar chord, third guitar chord, right? And you can do power chords if you want. You played the third guitar chord on the fifth, we're on the fifth now, autumn, A, day, D, 
third guitar chord on the fifth bottom D. Third guitar chord on the fifth bottom D. Do it again. Third guitar chord on the fifth bottom D. Guitar chord, bottom D. Guitar chord, bottom D. Guitar chord, bottom D. And we'll move on to the next module.